Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, Shaper. Sounds like an insult. Warms my hard drives as you log in. Na, 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 na. Uh, I'm not wishlisting till I've played the fucking game. Stop asking me to wishlist your goddamn game till I've played the goddamn game. Do not put the cart before the horse. Please. Placed your elbow with a basketball hoop. This may seem strange to you, but trust me, it'll work out in the long run. Oh. Not rogue shapers taking over Elysium. I have no context for this at all. Sensitivity. Alright. Put it on. Two. That's a lot better. Alright. Okay, I cannot buy any of this. That's good to know. Time is the well. If time's of the essence, why am I fucking around with an upgrade thing that I can't use? Keeps directing me back to that terminal. Does it actually mean don't go to the terminal, go to the big? Ugh. Oh, I see what they're doing. They're, 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 they've made it like an unlock sphere, so every successive thing that you unlock, you know, pops up there. I get it. What do I do? What am I doing? Can't do shit. Fuck it, I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, so a, a HUD prompt that constantly tells you to go to that probably is, is, is a little distracting. Yeah. Is this Overwatch 2? Certainly got that visual style, doesn't it? Your suit station has been activated. You may now use it to change your equipped cores and control the types of powers and enhancements you get in your runs. You may only change your equipped cores at the beginning of your runs. I don't know what any of this means. Wind core. Art core is broken. Oh, I'll just stick with what we've already got, eh? I got no good reason to change it. They haven't even played the game yet. I'm just moving around rooms. Take downs! When damaged enough, foes may become exposed and glow purple. Punching an exposed foe triggers a takedown, causing it to explode violently and spawn shield pickups. I 
do I punch it in? I don't think it actually told me what the punch button is. Ah, mouse too. No, I, I can't fault it for the, the the production quality. It's it's pretty nice, even if it is like Overwatch inflected stylistically. Adamant Core, use your reflective punch and outburst core ability to counter your foes' attacks and reflect incoming projectiles back at them. And equip the core will offer enhancements. Amplify, 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 reflect effects, and grant extra ways to generate fury and fortify. Offs. So, to do reflect. How do reflect? Oh, it's just the shield. Right. Reflective punch and outburst. But I can punch. I can punch projectiles. Apparently. Okay, I can see how this fits together now. It's a nice little loop. It's a nice little loop. Good sound design. Good feedback, both in visual and sound effects. I feel like it's over-egging the mechanics a little in terms of how it's explaining them. But other than that, I'm acclimat I'm acclimatizing to it quickly enough. Or an answer. Every enhancer you find contains multiple core enhancements that augment your powers. The kind of enhancements you're offered is controlled by which cores you currently have equipped. Experiment with different combinations of cores to control your style. It lasts for the duration of the run, lost on death. When you take down foes, you gain fortify. Fortified, you also reflect. Um, you know what? Reflective fortified. I think the only thing that's probably um, requiring me to desire more caffeine for my brain right now is like the, like you say, the fortified buff system and whatever the heck that actually means. That gave me another charge that I just wasted in mid -air. I think that's what that was. Yeah. I think that's what that was. I'll try that again. Yeah. Kick your fist in the glory hall. Wow, they're really going hard on making this um, fire off as much dopamine as possible when you do very simple things. <laughs> I should know, because it's 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 a game's got to be trying hard to fire off the dopamine receptors in my brain. You may now activate shaper hacks at the start of every floor. Hacks allow you to deploy combat ingredients and activate effects to aid you within the Overlord's Towers. Hack effects last for the entire floor. So you can spawn explosive barrels for the duration or something like that. That's interesting. So you can apply your own benefits or conditions on the subsequent room. Interesting. 
We, we, no one said hack blood. Zane will come crashing through the arena walls any second now. He, he. Don't know about you, but I'm getting the idea that I'm supposed to be able to, like, wall hop. Did I miss something? Or did I forget to apply my hacks? <laughs> Sadly, this game doesn't have an S-Blade, but it, it does have a hack blood charge. demos to be a troll demo advertising another game how would that even work someone spilled fire blue all over the place Echo Point Nova feels so good. I know, right? It, it just hits. Just hits. That's kind of Mega Man-esque. Overlord influence. Uh, overlords obtain special powers every time you face them. These powers influence the types of foes, traps, challenges, and retaliations. Uh, okay. I can only go against Vault Colossus. Big McLodge huge. I don't hate it. It's perfectly enjoyable. And all I've done so far, I think, is just glorified tutorial. Slab, bulkhead. Right, dead eye power ups. Dash, overdrop. <laughs> dead eye. Oh, sweet, so you can knock him into other enemies. Echo waves. Projects, uh, projects multiple waves of energy to inflict vibro and reflect. I don't know why that means. It is, it is cribbing Overwatch so fucking hard, isn't it? It's basically taking like unique K 
character abilities of Overwatch characters and making them swappable power-ups in this roguelite. <laughs> it's kind of brazen. Oh. I admire the balls. Wait, corrupted loot boxes shoot all nearby switches. Switches? You know what was good about that? I could pinpoint where those boxes were by sound. A lot of effort's gone into sound design here. Crits and health. Crits and health. I'm still not sure what dead I actually did. Not entirely sure. Oh, it's a fucking switch. Right. Those switches need to be a little bit more visible. I say, it's good that I could find them by sound in that other room, but, you know, outside of that. They need to be a little bit more visible. Alright, so, that's a shield enemy. probably do with a bit faster base character movement but I wonder if that's something that you know is, is an upgrade basically because the base character movement as it is right now feels kind of slow to me this looks pleasingly chunky yep yep I'll take it more on the Mega Man vibe line. Me too. Me too. I mean, I, I... It just amuses me how much, like, visual Overwatch aesthetic there is. <laughs> like, cribbing the mechanics. Th th those kind of things. Those amuse me. Like, the cherry picking of mechanics. That's interesting. So the Tower Overlord can uh, randomly interject and put extra shit into the area. These teleporters to return to the junction chambers. Okay. <laughs> uh, Sabankia, 
You think there's room for it's like Overwatch, but without the moral bankruptcy? <laughs> yeah. What are you? Crimson repeater with a pyro. We go faster red. Alright, so this room looks like it's a dead end. Which is why the teleporter is there, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like something can be done there, doesn't it? Dropped it earlier. Okay. Points. Yeah, this is fun. I'll admit it. Not so sure about this handgun, though. Might swap it out for something else. Ah, stick with it for now. What the fuck? But I only had the one. Plasma blast. Set the ground ablaze. Yeah. Extra core enhancer. You know what? I got the choice between the two. That works for me. I'm a fan of elaborate doors. What can I say?
easier than I was expecting. But I guess if it's gonna be roguelike. You gotta you gotta have that curve of escalation. Shield extractor, yeah, gain additional pickups. Dashing through foes also slows them down. Become temporarily invulnerable when your shield breaks. Yeah, it works for me. Yeah, it fits it fits very neatly into a few descriptors, doesn't it? Dash of Overwatch, Dash of Mega Man, Dash of Rogue Light. If it continues on a on a on a decent challenge curve, I can see this being a really big amount of fun. I think I'm gonna keep an eye on this one. I think I'm gonna add that to the wish list. Short and sweet. By the end of the demo. I had a good grasp on what it was about. Getting started was a bit iffy. I was like, where am I going? What am I doing? But once I got past that, that was it. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so as one. As one ticked off the list. Time to spin the wheel again, I guess.